So I actually have an amazing girlfriend now. We've been dating about a year, and about a month ago, we're out to dinner. We're having a great dinner. In the middle of dinner, out of nowhere, she just looks up from her food, and she says to me, Brant, I want a cat or I want a ring. So I did a little research, and cats are free, and rings are like $10,000. But being the amazing boyfriend that I am, I always want to give her everything that she wants. So I searched and searched till I found it. And I got her a cat ring. <laughs> which is exactly what she didn't want. I've never seen a person more disappointed in their entire life. <laughs> Biggest waste of $14 I have ever spent. <laughs> so she, as she's throwing away this cat ring, she says to me, Brent, can we please get a cat? Can we just please get a cat? I'm like, babe, we just moved into a new house. We have a dumb little dog. Like, we can't have a cat right now. She goes, can we get a cat one day? I said, yeah, babe, I promise one day I'll get you a cat. So the next day, I have to fly to New York City to do a show. I land in New York City, and the second I step off the plane, I turn my phone back on, and the first text I have is from my girlfriend. And of course, it's a picture of this adorable little cat with a broken leg that somehow stumbled into our driveway and was crying until my girlfriend rescued it. And I was like, really? Really, bitch? Is that really what happened? <laughs> I think my girlfriend just drove around until she hit a cat. <laughs> and she knew I wouldn't be able to say no. So of course I write back, oh, I guess we have a cat now, huh? She's like, oh, I guess okay, if it's okay with you. <laughs> And I'm like, yes, it's fine. But I'm worried about it. What about its broken leg? What are we going to do about the broken leg? She goes, oh, don't worry about it. I took it to the vet, and they amputated it. <laughs> so now I'm flying home to a three-legged cat. But of course, when I get home, I meet this three-legged cat. He's adorable. I immediately fall in love with him, and he just slowly follows me wherever I go all over the house. And I name him Turkey. So I just think it's funny to name an animal other animal names. <laughs> so me and Turkey are like best buds and we hang out all day, every day for four straight days. But then on the fifth day, my girlfriend and I, we like to wake up in the morning and walk and get breakfast or coffee. And on the fifth day, we wake up and we're walking through my neighborhood. And on every telephone pole, I just start seeing these missing cat posters. <laughs> just says missing cat with a picture of Turkey, $100 reward, no questions asked. So we're like, shit, what do we do? We know we gotta give this cat back, so we call the family. We're like, hey, we found your cat. We're gonna bring it right over. And they are so excited to get their cat back until we pull in the driveway. And my girlfriend gets out of the car with this three-legged cat. And the parents just start screaming at my girlfriend, what did you do to our cat? Where's its leg at? Why are you calling it a turkey? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, guys, remember the flyer? It did say no questions asked, right? Can we? Just get this reward and get the hell out of here. Like, we'll take 75 if you want. Like, we get it. Can we just leave? <laughs> and this family just took the cat and went inside. That's it. No reward or anything. It's, it's the saddest ending to that story. I hate it. I know. I wish that story had more legs, but it doesn't. It's a shitty, <laughs> shitty ending to that horrible family.